Hello, I'm Twitch at Twin Flame Witch, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, and check out my other videos. I'm new to doing tarot on videos, so bear with me. Um, this channel is new anyway. I've not even had it a month, so it's it's taking me a while to figure things out, what to do, what not to do, all that stuff. So at the beginning of each video, I'm going to hurry and do this because I am taking too much time if people aren't watching the rest of it. So, tarot, take it as it resonates, it's not for everyone, it's a general audience, and they're timeless, so it could be any time you feel drawn to watch this is when the reading is meant for you, and, like, it may not be meant for you now, but it could be later, okay, and so, Leo's, Leo can be anywhere in the important placements in your chart, that could be your sun, moon, rising, north node, or Venus, some people say even Pluto, I think, or Jupiter, Anyway, that's not how I do it, so. Okay. Um, feminine masculine energies, that's not male or female genders, okay? I want to let you know that, and this could be for someone else or um, someone close to you. Or instead of, like, say, I say, you left someone, maybe they left you. This It can be vice versa. So, just remember that when you're watching this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. The decks I'm working with are the... Crystal Power Tarot deck. There's also chakras in it. And then the Oracle deck is the Chakra Love, and it has the chakras, the stones, and messages. I really like working with those. So, anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that. So, right, we go. messages for Leo. I will tell you that for Leo, um, intuitively, the only thing that I'm picking up on and I have been for a while is, you know the strength card is Leo, right? Well, I keep getting that and the chariot, which is usually like um, any type of traveling, whether it's physically or like spiritual paths. Um, it could be moving on. It doesn't have to be like literally like moving. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes, that is what I've been getting. That's it. Sorry. I may get something in a bit. Oops. It was like I threw those. I got the Emperor. The King of the Emperor. Um, it's red jasper. I got King of Pentacles, which is Pyrite. Excuse me. And the three swords, which is sugar light. Okay. Let's see what else we've got before I speak on this. After I do the reading, I'll let you know what chakras you need to work on and what stones you will need, okay? <clears throat> well, surely there's more messages, huh? So, you may have Aries in your chart or Aries in your life. And there's the Hierophant. The stone is Amethyst. It's a beautiful card. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, could be learning to juggle your, what I'm seeing is, and this may not be for everyone, like uh, the cancer reading have like three different groups. I see someone that's been very bad at finances and uh, they're learning to 
to juggle them more, I mean, to balance that area more, and once they do, things will be great. Absolutely great. That is great news. It's like the only issue you really have right now is your finances, like you really suck at it. <laughs> my husband and I, it's funny, because my husband and I have Leo in our, as our rising sign, and, <laughs> and we both have areas in our chart, too. Oh, two flip. They went back in the deck, flipped over. <clears throat> so Ace of Wands, and that is Garnet. Hmm. And then Queen of Cups, Angel Oracles. I trust my knowing and follow my heart. So, we have a Queen and King out here. Of course, it's um, Earth and Water, so. Uh, we have Swords and Wands. Hmm, balance. That's what I'm seeing is balance. You're trying to balance the different aspects of your yourself, your life. Now, it's not... A, <laughs> you got to accept things before you can work on things. And that's what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Something doesn't feel right, though. I may pull out another deck so I can get confirmation on something. I need, I need some confirmation on this Queen of Cups. and food allergies. <laughs> I have a lot of health problems, period. And, you know, that's what really has kept me on my path is the health problems. I have the witchcraft, you know, the herbs, tea, herbal teas and stuff seem to really help for me. Seven of Swords. Sugar Lights. I feel like, um, Hold on. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to pull out another deck. Sometimes I get uh, really like foggy like, like it's hard to see the readings clearly. It may have been because I've done so many <laughs> back to back. This deck is the, um, <clears throat> sorry, it is the Essential, Essential Book of Tarot. It's like, it's a mini deck. <clears throat> Apologize. The background noise is my heater. <laughs> sorry, it's too cold to not have it on. I need some confirmation on this Queen of Cups and Seven of Swords. feel like um, there's someone in your life who's suspicious of something that you're doing, or it could be the other way around, but they value your relationship and don't feel like they should speak up, I guess, because they're afraid of losing that if they speak up. Their intuition didn't just isn't what's just going off. They're getting, um, <clears throat> they got confirmation. Or you did. I'm not getting anything, y'all. So I feel like there's a lot going on, or this is several groups of people. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Actually, what I'm feeling is there's a, someone else. Like, 
you got this going on and they've got this going on. You're worried about your finances and they're worried about what you got going on. That's what I'm seeing. Or it could be vice versa, like I said. It looks like it could be, um, <clears throat> it could be like a fire sign or a water sign. Is what I'm basically seeing. Oh, and earth sign. So it could basically be anyone. It could be like all the placements in the charts and stuff. If you guys have similar placements. Woo! -hoo. Okay, so more than one card flew out. Ew. <clears throat> okay, so with the Queen of Cups, I got the Page of Cups. That is someone, um, giving you a message <laughs> like uh that's a messenger and they are holding <clears throat> they got their heart on their sleeve <laughs> and you see the water in the background and they're holding a, a fish in a cup so this could be a pisces giving you a message which that would be me um about being intuitive about something um hold on got my card little bitty cards i'm gonna lose them and then um i got the two of swords here and the six of wands so uh i feel like someone feels like they're basically uh, like someone, someone feels like something isn't being seen. Like, do you see this? Like, someone's either blind to what's going on or that person thinks that they're blind to it and they're not. And that could definitely be what's going on. I could be wrong, but that is what it feels like it is. Okay, where is my... My book, so I can tell you the chocolate. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna tell you the chakras, and then we're gonna go into the chakra level, okay? Now these don't have anything to do with it. All right. <coughs> Uh, cups. Sorry, I keep forgetting I'm like on camera. <laughs> okay, so I will tell you that the Major Arcana cards will not be part of that. So just be the. We can do the Two of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay, so. Where are the Four of Cups? Okay, so. Ace or Ten is Sugar Light, like I said. And that's the crown and what i was looking at this qualities is percepts perceptive inspiration and endurance and then we'll do the ace of wands that's garnet passion perception balance that's the base so the crown and base chakras and then we'll do queen of cups that's angel or it's compassion peace and love and that's the crown as well the crown's on here twice so definitely the crown chakra is what you need to be working on and is that it? The base and the crown. And these, um, they're not in here, but I'm still going to use them. The wands. So we got garnet and base. So base and crown. And then, of course, the two swords would be <clears throat> base and crown. So I'm in the page of cups. Base and crown. Okay, so... <laughs> I would go with Angel Aura Quartz. <coughs> we didn't have 
Oh, we didn't have a King of Pentacles. I'm sorry. And that, that was Pyro, was it? Yes. That's Pyro, and that's Wealth, Manifesting, and Commitment, and that's Sacral. So, that that doesn't seem like, well, that does is actually a big deal. So, Sacral, uh, Crown, and Base, and that's it. So, Pyrite, Ancient Ore Quartz, Garnet, and Sugar Light. That's not too bad. Um, hopefully, I don't know, I feel like there's something missing, don't you? Like, I'm not getting this whole picture. Okay. I hate when I lose stuff. All right. Any Oracle cards? Any messages for Leo? Hopefully you get some. Remember, I am so used to being alone. That it's, I'm very much of a solitary witch. And I'm a hermit. And so I'm not used to this. Oh, wow. That's rare. There's only five harmony cards in the deck, and you got two. And these are chakra balance cards. So now you know, definitely, you're, you're trying to balance things, and you're off balance, and... I just got another message. This other person, they've been by your side on your journey. And you don't see how hard it's been on them. And they're trying to follow their passion while they're worried about your passion in life. Oh, wow. I don't usually get the message at the end like that. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and remember, you may be a king, but she's also a queen. And she's also a hierophant. And you are the emperor, okay? Like, remember that. She is... She is what... She may be the emotional part of it, like, and the intuitive part, and I feel like you're the, you're the money maker, and you are, I heard something about your heart chakra, like, it's, um, okay, so, you're actually, she's more intuitive, you're more, like, I guess, emotional, even though it's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> and you need to work on your heart chakra. And she needs to work on her crown. Oh, I have felt oh, my throat. <laughs> uh, she needs to work on her throat chakra too. So let's get on to this, okay? <clears throat> the cards I got were Harmony and Equilibrium. Harmony makes the song of life sweeter. Green Jasper, Turquoise, and Labradorite. So you can take those three stones and put them together in something like... I don't know, your baths, put them in a, a cage necklace, wear them on, make a bracelet out of them, whatever it is, um, that's what one of you need, and I'll, t I think that's what it is, this is for a couple, it's so weird, isn't it, because me and my husband, gosh, I, like I've been saying, I feel like I'm mirroring, and you're both off, off balance, I feel, if you could see the cards, you would see it. It's like there's a gap between them. There's a lot more going on with this other person than there is you, though. Even though you think it's you going through all this stuff, they're going through a lot up here, okay? I'm trying to deal with you. Or the, or it's vice versa, like I said. Okay, all the things work best in conjunction with all things. So, clear quartz, amethyst, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, and smoky quartz. That's a lot of... I think this is... Whoever, whoever I, I'm saying that I think is Leo and then the other person. Okay, the Leo would be the Harmony card, the uh, the Green Jasper, Turquoise, and Labyrinth. And the person by your side, you know, dealing with everything is uh, Equilibrium. The Clear Quartz, the Amethyst, Lapis Lazuli, Jade, Citrine, Carnelian, Smoky Quartz. Please give me a moment to put all this stuff in the description area. I got to finish all this stuff up, and then once I'm done loading, and I got to start back at the beginning and do all those. Just give me a moment, okay? So, that is it. Like, <clears throat> like I said, I said, um, you need pyrite, sugar light. I said garnet, right? 
Well, there's amethyst and garnet out here too. Okay. So let me explain to you just about something. The okay, the all the cards have a stone, but some of them have um chakras as well. So I told you sacral base and crown, right? And then it's sugar light, pyrite, red jasper, amethyst, garnet, and angel aura quartz. And I do not remember what these are because they weren't part of the deck. But well, you know what? Let me just look it back up. So you know what all to have, okay? I apologize. I apologize. Mine just went blank again. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Okay, page. What's the page? Page of Cups looks different. <laughs> I went to the actual page. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't go where I was supposed to go. I'm sorry. Okay, so cups, page. That is angel or quartz as well. So you got two in that. And then two two of swords would be like the three of swords, obviously. So that would be sugar light as well. So definitely sugar light, uh, angel or quartz, and I would do pyrite. Amethyst is always a great stone. Red jasper, those are... You know, cheap stones. But that's that's what I will go with. Alright. Well, that is it. And I hope you guys have a good night.